Okay, guys, another thing we did today is look at some working energy, energy conversions. And let's see how we're going to get this to work here. There we go. All right, number one, the child on the playground swing, motionless, highest point of his arc. What energy transformation occurs as he swings back down to the low point? Well, height is being turned into speed. So as you might imagine, B is the correct choice. Going to go pretty fast here. You can always pause this video and rewind if you so desire. Okay, a skier is gliding down a gentle slope at constant speed. What energy transformation is taking place? Well, potential energy is going into thermal energy. Why isn't this one here an option? Because it's constant speed. As he loses height, he is producing thermal energy here. He is not producing more speed. He's moving at constant speed. Does he have kinetic energy? Yes. But as we continue to lose height, lose potential energy, we don't gain any more speed. This must be the answer. Okay. A uh, tow rope pulls the skier up the slope at constant speed. What energy transfer or transfers are taking place? Now the tow rope is pulling up at constant speed. What do we have here? Work done is going into what? Well, both A and C. Work done is going into potential energy of height. Thermal energy is being produced. How do we know? Because of friction. How do we know there's friction? Because there would be acceleration if there were no friction, if you will. All right, at least one overview of it. This is a bit tougher. A crane lowers a girder or steel beam into place at constant speed. Consider the work done by gravity and the work done tension in the cable, which is true. Gravity, the work done by gravity is positive. The work done by the cable is positive. Work done by, but I'll, I'll let you read the choices. All right. We talked about this last year. The cable is being lowered. Gravity is pulling down in the same direction as the observed displacement. So the work done by gravity is positive. The steel beam or girder is being lowered at constant speed. The cable is pulling up the displacement down and the force in the cable up are in opposite directions, making that work negative. That means that this is our correct answer. The downward force of gravity is in the same direction of motion or displacement. So the work done by gravity is positive. The upward tension in the, is in the direction opposite the motion. So the work done is negative. Robert pushes a box to the left at constant speed. In doing so, Robert does blank work on the box. Positive, negative, zero. Again, which, how does the force, the direction of the force, compare to the direction of the observed displacement? If you said positive work, you are correct. Robert did positive work because the force is in the same direction as the displacement. The work is considered positive. Very important. All right, a constant force F pushes a particle through a displacement delta R. Here is the force. Here is it, delta R in three cases. In which of these three cases does the force do negative work? Well, both A and B, both A and C. Well, in A and B, there is a component of this blue displacement here, horizontally opposing the force. This is entirely opposing the force. So A and A and, I apologize. This is as a component also opposing the force. This is entirely in agreement with the force. Therefore, this work is positive. These are our two negative work done. And that's where we stopped there with this.